okay now this is we are edging towards the end of this concept now if we have numbers which end in 2 4 6 and 8 and we are trying to find the last two digits of an exponent then how do we do it firstly you have to remember something very simple 2 raised to the power 10 raised to the power of an even number will always end in 76 and 2 raised to the power 10 raised to the power of any odd number will be will be ending in 24 so first you understand this concept because this will be used in many questions so i'll take an example let us say i have 2 raised to the power 253 to uh, 543 now this i can write as i can write 543 see it's raised to the power 10 so i have to write this as some multiplication of 10 plus something so this will be 554 into 10 plus 3 so now when i when i open this i'll get 2 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 54 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 3 you should be very easily be able to get this expression if not then you need to basically revise your exponents a little bit okay now i told you that when it is 2 raised to the power 10 is raised to an even power this thing will be ending in 76 so this now the last two digits is 76 this last two digits are 08 so if i multiply this 76 into 8 i get 608 and the last two digits are 0 and 8 so this is a fairly simple rule now but we will be using this in various questions to show you an example again this is one of the most difficult questions of the video series so if you are able to follow everything that i am telling here or you are you know the best would be to please pause the video and do it yourself if not if you are able to follow exactly what i am saying then you've nailed this bit okay so we are finding out the last two digits of 34 raised to the power 236 so 34 raised to the power 236 can be written as 2 into 17 raised to the power 236 which is equal to 2 raised to the power 236 into 17 raised to the power 236 okay because 2 raised to the power something we we know how to find so now 2 raised to the power 236 this entire expression i can write as 2 into 10 raised to the power 23 into 2 raised to the power 6 into 17 because as i told you 17 raised to the power 4 is 1 so this is 17 raised to the power 4 into 59 if you see 59 into 4 is 236 so that is how i am writing this so this is what i need to find out the last two digits of so i need to take the last two digits of each of these things and multiply them to find the answer now 2 raised to the power 10 raised to the power something odd if it is something odd the last two digits of this expression will be 2 and 4 2 raised to the power 6 you all know is 64 last two digits 64 now this is the only thing that i have left so let me just take this here and find it out and i'll plug this in there so i have 17 raised to the power 4 raised to the power 59 so this is 17 square into 17 square raised to the power 59 so 17 square is basically 289 so this is 289 into 289 raised to the power 59 now i need to just take the these two last two digits so i don't care about this the two number so this i just this is equal to 89 into 89 Raised to the power 59. So the last two digits of this whole thing will be the last two digits of this thing. 89 again is 100 minus 11. So the last two digits of this thing will be simply last two digits of 11 into 11. Raised to the power 59. We'll see. So this is raised to the power 59. This is 121. So the last two digits of this whole expression will be again x, y, z, some 2, 1 raised to the power 5, 9. This is what we have. Found out till now. We haven't touched 59, but 17 raised to the power 4, or you can even multiply because it's fairly simple. But I'm just saying this is you just take the last two digits and you keep finding this out. So this is 21 raised to the power 59. Now when I have this, I just take the tens digit of this and the units digit of the power. So this is equal to 18. I just forget about this one here. I'll take 8 and the last two digits of this expression is 81 because One is here. One will go there. So this is equal to this. So now the last two digits of this entire expression 
is 24 into 64 into 81. So, if you multiply all of these, you will find the answer to be 1, 2, 4, 4, 1, 6 and 1, 6 are the last two digits of this entire expression. Now, in the exam, you don't need to exactly do all this, all these calculations. So, I'll tell you. So, let me just remove this from here once. And now, let me try to find out the, just to show you how to do it quickly in the exam. Because uh, you'll all have your own styles, but this is how you can work with it. So, I'm trying to find out the last two digits of 17 raised to the power 4 raised to the power 59. So, this is what I need to find out. So, this is 17 square into 17 square. So, again, 17 square is 289. Forget about the 2. That is 89 into 89. 89 is 100 minus 11. So, this is the same as 11 into 11. That is 121. So last two digits is 21. So, this is simply something x, y, 2, 1 raised to the power 59. So, 2 into 9 is 18. 8 and 1. These are the last two digits. So, I just showed you how, how you can do this quickly. Now, again, when you need to find, let me forget about this product here. So, this is what I have. 24 into 64 into 81. Now you do 24 into 64. 24 into 64 is 1536. Into 81, I need to find out the last two digits. Again, I don't need to multiply the whole thing. Just take the last two digits of this and last two digits of this. So I just need 36 into 81. And the this product is equal to 2916. So my last two digits are 16. So, this is how you need to do it quickly. Please, whenever I am working in these videos, I am trying to show the whole process so that you are very clear with the entire steps that are supposed to be followed. Obviously, it doesn't mean that you have to do all these steps with practice. You will see that a lot of these steps are only for understanding and you will be able to solve these questions very, very quickly. Okay, thank you.